Hi, Lynette Brown here, co-author of You Don't Look Psychic and Mystical Monday time. And I thought I'd change locations just to make things interesting for us. Um, you know, during COVID and with all this routine, everything looking the same, right? Um, it's important to change things up so our hippocampus doesn't get shrunk right? Um, so one of the things I want to bring forward today in talking about being mystical and being present to our intuition is I get a lot of people ask me, how do I know if I'm intuitive or how do I experience it? How do I know I'm experiencing it? Right? And so one of the things, you know, take it, there's a couple of, I've got like mm, five or t five or eight different little things to tune into to see if you've ever experienced these and you'll know that it's your intuition. So one of those things is if you're deeply connected to nature, you know, when we are present to nature and the force of nature, we're present to the creator, to all that is, right? Because we are nature, right? If you're a deep thinker, that's another way to know that you've been tapped in tapping into your intuition is if you're a deep thinker you know, intuitives also are acutely aware of their feelings acutely aware right so if you're very present and aware of your feelings that's you using your intuition that's you being sensitive right if you pick up on other people's emotions if you can sense or know, you know, how someone's feeling without them saying a word, but you can sense it. That's you tapping into your intuition. You're, you're using it, not realizing. If you have vivid dreams, right? If you are one of those people that you're highly perceptive and you meet someone and even though your friends might say, wow, they're really great, really love them. And you're like, mm something's just not sitting right that's it that's your sensitivity that is your guidance system that you are using right if you ever have thoughts that just drop out of nowhere like boom out of nowhere oh i was just thinking of aunt margie out of nowhere right that's what happens with intuitives also, if you experience synchronicity, right? When we are present to the universe, to nature, to the moment, to the now, synchronicity is the magic that happens, right? If you are a creative and an imaginative person, that's you tapping into intuition, right? These are all the energies and ways that we express intuition. We don't realize it. And the other thing to know about intuitives, you know, is that they're prone to addiction. And that is because a lot of us are very, we're frightened. We, we don't want to feel or know or hear it. So we cover it up with shopping, overworking, drinking, shop you know, yeah drugs all of it right so if that's ever come into your space know that that's probably your intuition speaking to you right you have that sensitivity and when we have that and we don't recognize it it creates a lot of anxiety in our body and that anxiety prohibits our intuition so we're fighting this vicious circle right so have fun this week consider these things consider all these little topics do they ever happen to you is that ever do you ever experience those things that's you it's your intuition knocking on your door so open it up and say hello <laughs> have a great week everybody Mwah.